Hi, boys and girls. I am here today to talk to you about another challenge. So the robot that I have for you today, let's see if we can see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is this little robot. See if you can tell what I have on there. And I'm just going to take them apart for a minute so you can see what's under there. And just like last time, I want you to talk with your teacher or talk with the person beside you about what you think this robot is going to do, okay? So go ahead and push pause and um, discuss that, and then we'll see what it does. Okay, you ready? So we have a battery, we have a sensor, and then we have, do you remember what this guy does? This one is a rotator, so he moves. And then this guy is the light bulb. So you guys know who that is, okay? And so this sensor is actually called a brightness sensor. He's gonna sense how bright it is, all right? So when I turn this guy on, see if you can tell. And then when something goes in front of the brightness sensor, let's see what happens. So now it's kind of like it's dark out, right? There's no light getting into the brightness sensor. So when it's dark out, it is going to shut off. So when it's light out, it's going to turn on. Now when it's a cloudy day, let me see if I can just cover it up a little bit. Look, he's kind of slowing down, see it? Look, so it's kind of a cloudy day right now, and now it's completely nighttime, and then it's gonna turn on. You know what they call this one? They call this one a, where'd it go? Oh, a dud light. So in, instead of like a stud, like a stud's a really cool thing, this is called a dud light. So would you need a light whenever it is already light out? No, you wouldn't, would you? So see if you can make a dud light, okay? So this is a dud light, and see if you can make it, and then come on back, and I have another challenge to go with this one for you, okay? So go ahead and push pause, and go see if you can make a dud light. Okay, so you're back. You made your dud light. So this one it is kind of like, have you ever seen a lighthouse whenever um, it spins and it puts a light out? That's kind of what this guy does, okay? But the problem is we want the lighthouse to work whenever it's dark out. So when it's dark, then it would put this light out. That's how lights normally work. When it's dark, you need an extra flashlight or an extra light. So you have a block that actually will change when this guy works. And it's the red one. Have you seen that before? The red one is actually an inverse block. So here's the inverse. So let's see if you can figure out where you need to put this red block to make it so this guy turns on whenever it's light instead of dark. So I'm gonna push pause, see if you can figure out where you need to put this red one. Does he need to go down here or in there, in between, or at the tippy top? Where does the red need to go to make him work? So go ahead and push pause and then we'll try it out, okay? All right, you're back, here we go. So if I put this guy on the bottom, he still does the same thing. Let's see if I move him up here below the blue, same thing. Let me try again, let's put him above the black, above the sensor. Ooh, so in between the sensor and the action block. Now you can see he's thinking that it's a little bit, um, dark right now, but look, when I put my hand in front, like it's completely nighttime, off it goes. My office is a little bit dark, 
so that when my light is actually on, it's still on a little bit, but it's not completely on. Look, when I put this here, it really goes crazy. So this is like nighttime and this would be like the lighthouse and he would be shining his light and turning so all the boats did not run into him, okay? So that is your challenge today. I'm so excited if you were able to do it. See if you can do one of the drawings where you draw and write about it and see if you can um, make sure you label your cubelets, which one is the power, which one is the sensor, and what kind of sensor. Remember, this guy is a distance or a light sensor, how bright something is, okay? I'm sorry, he's not a distance sensor. He's a brightness sensor, how um, bright something is or how dim. And then this guy is the inverse. He's kind of new for us, okay? And then this guy is an action block and he's called a rotate cubelet. And then this guy is our flashlight. He's another action cubelet and he is our flashlight. So see if you can draw that on your writing today, okay? All right, I can't wait to see it.